This video is going to provide an overview of the reading and assignments in Module 1 and give you a breakdown of some of the core concepts. We're going to talk about math and really introduce and start using math in a hands-on fashion. And this class is about math, but it's not too much about like the physical doing of math. If you experienced that in high school or in earlier classes in college, it's really about dealing with data. And you'll see that after the first couple weeks, we're going to do primarily manipulation of data with spreadsheets. I'm going to teach you Excel and also Google Sheets, show you the similarities, show you the power of things like pivot tables in the weeks to come. We're going to interview numbers just like we interview people. We're going to ask questions, um, uh, be consistent in using it, um, being ethical and understanding the data and where it came from so we know its flaws, its biases, we know how to troubleshoot some of the most like, basic problems. Um, just like sources, we're going to check the claims, we're going to verify, we're going to look for accuracy and clarity in what we're doing with every step of the process, not only in the reporting or the end product that you're going to start to do toward the end of the quarter. In this first module, um, we're going to focus on how the research shows that when reporters are uncomfortable with numbers, they rely more on the truthfulness of their sources and that can lead them to be manipulated. You want to really interrogate for a variety of reasons uh, the quality of the data with which you're working. So we're going to start with examples such as don't print it or don't publish it if it can't be true. And here's an example going back a couple decades of then President Bill Clinton strong, signing a stronger violence against women law. But in this speech he said um, and was quoted by the Associated Press, every 12 seconds another woman is beaten. That's nearly 900,000 victims every year. So you'll see in the types of exercises we're going to do this week, when you do the basic math, it doesn't quite work out. That's actually a lot more. So it's either more than one per every 12 seconds, uh, because that'd be uh, per minute if you convert it and then figure it out per year. Uh, and so even when it's somebody powerful like the President of the United States, you want to contextualize those numbers. Your best step here is to paraphrase that and contrast what he said with the legitimate claims of reliable organizations such as RAIN, uh, where you can uh, juxtapose those two things and point to, because you're putting your name on it and your credibility of your analysis of the data, um, how that differs. Instead of just running away with the quote, which even reputable organizations like the Associated Press did in this example. Similarly, uh, a pretty good example from a budget story of a few years ago by a friend of mine, reporter at the Chicago Tribune, Bill Ruthart, uh, tweeted out and subsequently had a story about scaling back pensions when Rahm Emanuel was mayor and the dispute over saying that's not a cut, even though they lowered the rate of the pension increase. The dispute here is really over the semantics of the word cut. And so what Bill did, instead of just saying a he said, she said, and also showing his own math and how that didn't match the logic of what the then mayor was saying, he found somebody that it affected. And so on top of crunching the numbers and looking at the data, found Mary Jones 61, showed through her salary and her benefits what that would exactly cost her. So a really good way of rounding out uh, and building on even some of the introductory things we're going to do here in the first module of the course. So this week we're going to look at the first chapter in Myers Precision Journalism, one of the foundational textbooks in data journalism. You're also going to look at the entirety. It's fairly short, only seven chapters of the data journalism handbook. And those things are going to form the bulk of the quiz questions in the first module. You're also going to read some entries from Waite, Paskin, Curtin and Meyer and Callison along with some podcasts and videos and that's going to be a combination of things that appear on the assignment. I'm looking for some reading comprehension answers in this introductory to data journalism material and then also in the discussion when we're going to break down the BuzzFeed tennis racket. So really three assignments this week, a quiz after you complete all the reading, read really critically, make notes on that. You can take each quiz twice and keep the higher score. Um, but you want to be sure you really thoroughly understand all of the reading. Then in the discussion, the reading related podcasts uh, on the tennis racket. And then the module one homework covers some of these videos, um, a self inventory of some of where you are. So I get to learn some about you and then showing me that you understand and comply uh, some of the lessons from the week's reading. So that really uh, covers it all. Uh, thanks very much. And I hope you enjoy the material in module one.